Welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to unbox and set up the longer Ray 5 10 watt laser. That's right, Batcave got a laser. <laughs> Stick with me. So everything was packed really nice. And right away, I love how they have these labeled. Check this out. So it tells you right there, this is steps one and three, what's in the bag. Step six, what's in the bag. Step four, what's in the bag. I mean, that right there, <laughs> I love it because of that. Because if you guys have ever bought anything that requires a setup like this, like you know how handy that is. <laughs> The other thing is you have the guide right here that tells you what everything is. The other thing I want to point out is I like these instructions. I like how clear they are because sometimes you get stuff and all you have to do is like follow the pictures, like good luck kind of a thing. This thing is listed out really well because I've never had a laser before. So I have no idea of how to set that up. This is going to help a lot. Having things labeled is going to help a lot. So let's go through this step by step. All right. So. First step, what we're going to do is attach these bars together. Now, I do like the instructions because they are showing you a lot in the pictures, but there's a couple subtle differences that you need to know. So see these pieces right here? They're different. So you have to pay attention to the orientation that you're putting them in. See how that one's longer and that one's shorter? So this is gonna go on the outside, this is gonna go in the back. So it's gonna go exactly like this in the corner because these pieces sit on the outside of that bar. Okay, so that's the same for both of them. The other thing is you want these lines to be on the inside, not the measurements. So these lines in millimeters going on the inside, there are no inches. Um, I wish there were because the one that I got was the US one, but these are only in millimeters. The other thing with these bars is you wanna make sure that on this back bar, it's the flat side that's up because you can see there's grooves. The flat side goes up on this. So let me go ahead and show you the first attachment here. So we're gonna have the long side go into here, short side go into here, maybe. There we go, that was my error. Line up the corners because then this screw goes from the outside in because there's a hole in this that's gonna hold it in place or catch the screw. Just make sure these sit flush because you don't want it to be out of square. Going to go ahead and do this side. Now remember the longer side goes on the outside. Shorter side goes in. Line up the corners. Put in the screw. All right, the next thing we need to do is those grew, those corner pieces, they have set screws in them too. So let me show you that. So these also have set screws that you need to tighten down so it locks it into the frame. So I'm going to do that now. They supply you with all the different Allen wrenches too. Step one, done. Step two, we're gonna add this onto the frame. Now, there's something they don't mention in the instructions, but on this frame, there is, if I can get it in the camera, there's a screw right here. This screw has to come out for you to be able to put that X axis frame on. I think that's what it's called. I, again, am not a laser person. This is my first laser, so I'm super excited about it. Um, but you guys can tell me if I'm wrong down below. So, took that screw out. Now, when you put this on there, these rollers line up with the V-grooves on top of this. So it's pretty easy to do. Uh, I'm just gonna stand it up because that's easiest for me. I don't know that it's really gonna be in camera, probably not. I'm still a rookie at YouTube, there we go. So it lines up, yep, hitting the camera, like that, right into the V-grooves, if you guys can see that in the light. Right. Don't let that happen. <laughs> if you guys have never watched my channel, I keep things real and that happens, so I'm leaving it. All right, so there we go, that's on there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this screw back in, which is off camera, kind of. All right, step number three, we are going to add this bar to the front. I almost did it again, almost did it again. All right, we're gonna add this bar to the front here. Same exact thing we did with the other one. You have these corner pieces with bag, step number three. Screws out here tight. I'm gonna tighten up the corners. All right, step three is done. Let's go on to step four. 
All right, step four involves putting the feet and the screen onto the frame. Now, when it comes to these feet, wherever these bumpers are, that's gonna be the bottom. So you have a foot in this corner, a foot in that corner, and a foot in that corner, and then the screen goes up here. They're just simple screws, so I'm not gonna waste your time showing you. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the feet on. A few things I wanna point out while I'm doing this. While you're putting the feet on, these corners line up. So you don't have to try to find the screw holes because this plate lines up exactly with the side of the frame. The other thing is this was that bumper that I told you you had to take off to put the roller on. They have another one that you have to install too, right there. And I highly recommend doing that before putting the feet on because this thing rolls very easily and you don't want it to slide off the frame like I had to do it before. The last thing is all of the screws are gonna be the same size besides this one. This one goes in the corner over here for the screen. For this little, the little screw that I just mentioned that goes in the corner to hold this screen right here, this hole's not threaded. Um, I think that was an error. I think it's supposed to be threaded, but I kept trying to get the screw in there and I'm like, why isn't this working? Well, there's no threads for it to grab onto. So I have my own tap set. Uh, they say that this screw is an M58, so I'm going to use an M58 tap in. See how it goes. I actually have a tap set, but I've never used it. That was actually really easy because this is just aluminum. So now let's see if it worked. There we go. Perfect. All right, I'm going to finish putting the screen on. So now we're on to step number five. Now this part, I was a little nervous about until I just looked at it a little bit more because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be running that track. See the red right there? You're gonna be running this rubber track through this setup. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put the track down into the V-groove. It's gonna go under this wheel, over this wheel, under the next wheel. And then you're gonna use these little pieces to lock it in place. Now, there is an example already installed on the machine. See that right there? You're gonna be doing the same exact thing as this track on the top. See where it's running under that wheel? over that wheel, under that wheel, and then you lock it in place like that. One thing that I found is gonna make this a lot easier because <clears throat> when you lock these silver pieces in here, in camera, when you lock these silver pieces in here, they want to stay like that, but they need to be this way. So what I did was I took this, I turned it as much as I could with my hand. Let's see if I can show you on camera for this one. I don't think I'll be able to, but. So turn it slightly, take a screwdriver, and just push it over a little bit more. There you go. And then see that holds the belt down in place. Then you take that screw and put it in here. So then you're just going to keep running the belt, do the same thing to the other side. All right, so that was probably going to be the most, I'd say, tedious, maybe a little bit annoying way to install this track. but. It is effective because you're able to, there's little holes in the sides of these plates. You're able to pull that tight, put that in there, lock it down, and then you have a very good tensioned belt for this. So there you go. Um, they do have a guide on the micro SD card that they give you if you want a little bit more instruction on how to run these belts. Here we are at step number six where we actually attach the laser, which I'm getting really excited about this thing. So, <laughs> so here is the laser and it's nice protective bag. Take this out of here. So there we go. There's the protective shield. That's already tight. This is so cool. I'm so excited. I've never had a laser before, as I mentioned, so this is like, yes. All right, so to do this, there are two holes on the bottom down here, and you're gonna use the thumb screws that go into these sides, into these holes, ovals on the side, and you're gonna attach them to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. If you want to, you can take the shield off when you're doing this because I'm noticing the shield's getting a little bit in the way, but I'm close, so I'm not going to. All right, and there we go. Then you have these little tiny screws. Don't lose them. And then there's a little nylon washer that's gonna go on there as well. And those go into the back of the machine. So I need to drop this down. All right, so there are holes on the back of the laser. You're gonna go through the bracket into the laser through the back here. All right, the last step is connecting all the wires. So coming out of the main hub here, the screen, you're gonna have this plug that's gonna plug into here. And then you have these plugs that are gonna go into here and into here. So the bigger ones up there, 
smaller ones down here. This one goes in the back of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So there you go. I'm impressed. I like this machine. So normally it's $529. If you use the promo code down below, you can save 30 bucks and get it for $499. At that price range, I expected it to have issues. I expected it to be cheap. I expected it not to work right. You know, all that kind of stuff. But no, I'm impressed with it. And it's it does a really good job, as you can see. So I'm excited to have more projects go through the machine and really put it through its paces. I want to point out a couple things that I liked. I liked that it was packaged well. I liked the instructions. They could have a little bit more detail in there, but it wasn't tough. If I wasn't recording, it probably would have took me like 30 minutes to set this thing up. Not bad at all. The one hole that wasn't tapped, to me, that's not a big deal because it's aluminum. If you have taps, it's super easy to do, and then it worked. Um, I really like that it's lightweight because I'm not going to use this all the time. So I like that I can just unplug the power cord move it somewhere else. When I'm ready to use it, bring it back out, plug it in and, and be on my way with it because the way that my shop is set up, again, with how often I'm gonna use it, I don't have a dedicated space for it. So, fits the bill that I can move it out of the way. Um, I really like that all those bags were labeled. Uh, it, it's very rare that you actually see that. Normally, you're pulling the screws out and trying to put them up to the pictures of the manual to see which one's which. You didn't need to do that. If you were on step four, grab bag number four and you were good to go. I really like that they included those glasses. I thought that was neat. I like that they included the USB to SD card reader. So that way you don't have to bring your whole computer into the shop. You can take that SD card, work on your computer, download the files, bring the SD card back, plug it in. There they are. And the screen is really easy to use. I know I didn't show you guys that, but I'm going to do a different video that shows you how to use this and show it in use in a project. So you guys can see all that. Keep an eye out for that video. The only thing I don't like about this machine is that it's in millimeters. And I know, I know, it's not a big deal. It's not, but I'm all inches. So the rails in millimeters and the computer screen is in millimeters and that's gonna be a little bit of a brain change for me. So what I'm gonna do on the computer when I'm setting up these projects, do all of those in millimeters and then it'll translate back to the machine. I did look to see because when you were online and you pick this, you pick US, Europe, et cetera. That's only for the plug. I thought that meant it was going to change from millimeters to inches, but it doesn't. But again, for $499, I'm really impressed with this machine. Machine, And that's my only downside is <laughs> it's millimeters and not inches. And I know everybody else in every other country is going to be like, it's supposed to be millimeters. You guys can have that argument down below. So <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed. Keep an eye out for that next video. If you're interested in that laser, don't forget the promo code down below so you can save 30 bucks. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments, let us know. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> have a good day.